Christian Pentecostal Mission International Headquarters, 10 and 12 Latif Salami Street, Ajawa Estate, along Mutala Mohammed Airport Road, Lagos. These outreach, reaching out to the troubled souls. Don't miss it. CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord. Take up your Bible. Exodus 1.21 Exodus 1.21 Let's read together. And it came to pass, because the midwives feared God, that he made them, what? Houses. What did he make them? Who made it for them? God himself. And the key was what? They feared God. If you don't fear God, forget houses. Oh, you came because you hear that we are going to bless you, anoint your plan, and you go and possess what you are looking for, and you came. If you don't fear God, you will not have it. And the problem here is, is not one house. Houses. How many of you want houses? Are you sure? Eh? Are you sure? Are you sure? Say, I want houses. Wake up, darling. Say, I want houses. And no power can stop me. I will fear the Lord. I will give the Lord my heart. I will live above sin. I will dwell in sincerity to God so that he can bless me. Can I hear you shout amen? amen. Hear me. What made these people, when God said he will give them, give those midwives houses, apart from fearing God, they fought the Egyptians. They disobeyed their evil laws. Anything that will make you not to be what God wants you to be shall be destroyed in your life. Look this way. Do you know that many times we have obstacle? And that obstacle is the one that will take us to where? To our next level. If there was no obstacle that those midwives faced, there would be no houses. So I want you to know that today that whatever that brought you here will produce your houses. You didn't say amen. So don't be afraid of obstacle. You might come here, you are, you are tired. You say, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. Keep your mouth shut. That thing you are facing is something that will announce you to your next level. I'm talking to you. That thing that is trying to put you down will soon put you up. That thing that is trying to disgrace you will produce grace upon your life. Receive grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive grace in the name of Jesus Christ. If they have done what the king Pharaoh wanted them to do, they will not have the houses and they will end up bad. Because after they must have killed those children, the ogre can turn around and kill them because he's a wicked man. So I want you to know that you will not end up bad. I want you to shout, I will not end up bad. Stand up those that are seated and shout, I will not end up bad. Say it with all your heart. Say, nobody will force me to end bad. Nobody will trick me for me to lose my destiny. To lose my blessing. Say, no power. In the name of Jesus Christ, we make me to lose my blessing. Do you understand what I'm saying? There 
there was pressure. Pharaoh was pressurizing these women. Kill the boys. Is there anything that wants you to kill your destiny? And those boys was their destiny. It was the destiny of those midwives. If they kill those boys, they will kill their own destiny. If they kill those boys, they will kill their future. If they kill those boys, they will kill their dreams. If they kill those boys, they will kill their purpose in life. But they say, no, we will not kill what God gave to us. I speak to you. Nobody will force you to kill your destiny. I stand in the name that is above every other name. Nobody will force you to kill your destiny. Nobody will trick you to kill your destiny. Your destiny will not die in your hands. Your future will not die in your hands. Your dreams will not die in your hands. Your purpose will not die in your hands. You will have your houses. No devil will stop you. No witch will stop you. No marine spirit will stop you. If you are that person, shout a louder amen. I'm talking to somebody. I don't know whom I'm talking to. See, I don't know what is the pressure. There are pressure pressurizing you. They want to pressurize you to push you out of where you should be. <laughs> That's the place you should be. And they have seen it. Pharaoh saw it. He knows. But those women say, no. This is mine. Everybody say, this is mine. This is mine. Say, I will not give up what belongs to me. <laughs> say it loud now. <laughs> say it better. <laughs> say it loud. <laughs> if you are that person, shout it louder. Amen. Amen. A man of God told us a story. I'm talking to you. Because a lot of you, God is going to embarrass you with blessing. I don't like your amen. I don't know where you come from. <laughs> I don't know whether in your house, in your home, nobody has ever succeeded. You will be the one to succeed. You will be the one to excel. You will be the one to lead them. Say, Father, I receive it. And I believe it. And it shall work for me. In the name of Jesus Christ, if you believe that, shout a louder, amen. A man of God, an outstanding man of God today in Nigeria, he said they came to a meeting. And the man of God was preaching and was telling them about their future, about this. And the man of God said, well, I know that some of you here will succeed. But I ask you to do one thing. They were looking at him. He told them, he said, take so-so amount, drop it. The man of God said, everybody kept quiet. Nobody wanted to do it. He said, look around, he look around from the head. So he took the money and dropped it. And immediately he dropped it. The man of God turned to him, he said, you will be greater than all of them. He said, you see all these people. You say you have stepped out. You say all these people worship at your feet. And today it's happening. Do you understand? There are things that the enemy will push us. You, you don't want to do it. When the calling is coming. Like as I'm telling you now that you must fear the Lord. You don't compromise with your destiny. That was the destiny of those midwives. But they didn't know. They even lied. They told, they told Oga Pharaoh, say, ah, before we come, they are Hebrew women, no? Before we know what is happening, they don't born. Ah. God will give you wisdom. Receive wisdom to come out of your problem. Receive, pro receive wisdom to come out of your problem. You are coming out of that 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 problem. You are coming out of the problem. Out of the problem. 
So it was that wisdom. Ah, Oga, before we reach, they don't burn. And God honored it. And God looked from above. He said, wow. He said, these people. Because if they have started killing, they would have killed Moses. And Moses was among them. Moses was the prophet that we deliver the people. And they did not kill. They did not, they did not kill. So, ladies and gentlemen, nobody will kill your destiny. I speak to you. I don't know whom you are. But I stand this morning in this name Jesus Christ to announce to you that whosoever, be it a witch, be it a wizard, be it marine spirit, be it native doctor, be it your friends, be it your neighbor, be it your mother, be it your father, be it your uncle, they will never kill your destiny. They will not. Everybody say they will not. You might ask me, what are you talking about? Yes, what I'm talking about is what brought the houses? Number one, fear of God. Number two, they refuse to kill their death. If you fear God and you are not being focused, you just live anyhow. You say it doesn't matter. Some of you live, it doesn't matter. Life, when your blessing will come, You'll be doing it, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The blessing will go. May you not live that way in the name of Jesus. You must be focused in life. You must be sensitive to life. That when your blessing comes, it shall not pass you. 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 It will not pass you. I want you to shout, my blessing will not pass me. Amen. Please help me. Help me to do it. Please. Please. If those women were not sensitive, they will kill those children. And they will kill their own life. Say, Lord, I will not allow my blessing to pass me. Say, Lord, open my eyes to see when good things are coming my way. Say it loud. Say it again. Say it better. If you believe that, shout amen. One of the women, a few years ago, like this type of service we're having, we're talking about house, and she was as poor as church rat. Poor. But she believed God. She knew that it's only God that can do it. So we had the meeting, we prayed, and we left. After that prayer, a man just called her and said, Ah, madam, come. I've been looking at you. Your suffering is too much. I want to help you. I prophesy to somebody here. I stand in this name, Jesus Christ, to announce to you that after this program, somebody will call you up and bless you with a house. And bless you with a house. I'm blessed 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 with a house. Is anybody saying a louder amen? 
that somebody I'm waiting to hear the voice with a louder amen. I don't know where you came from, but I speak in the name that is above every other name. That after this program, somebody you never expected will bless you with a house. We 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 bless you with a house. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody jump up and shout, I receive it. Go ahead and shout, I receive it. 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 Go ahead. I receive it. Confess it with your mouth. Lord, I receive my house. I don't know whom you are going to use, but I receive it. I don't know whom you are going to use, but I receive this heart. I don't know whom you are going to talk to about me, but I receive the heart. I don't know who will be sleepless about me, but I receive the heart. 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 Keep on saying it. 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 Don't limit yourself. I'm talking about the unlimited God. I'm talking about God that can do anything, anytime, anyhow. God that can change any condition. God that can turn any situation around. God that can pick you from the dunghill and put you in a pinnacle of glory. God that can bring you from the back and put you in the front. God that can change any situation in your life. That's the person I'm talking about. Keep on thanking him. Just thank him. Just bless him. Just adore him. Just worship him. Some of you are still doubting yourself. D don't doubt. Don't doubt. Don't doubt. In Jesus' name we pray. Do you know that these midwives, they don't have money to build, do you know? Huh? But God touched somebody. And that's why we're here. We're not reckoning with your money. God touched somebody. Because those midwives can build a house. Come on, let's tell ourselves the truth. They cannot. They cannot even lay foundation. How much, much building? But God, the pride and money star, he spoke to somebody. And those people went and built houses for them. And that is why they say, God build what? The houses. God has to use somebody to bless you. Am I communicating? Am I communicating? I'm not hearing you. God will deposit something in you that will attract somebody to you. You are not saying amen. On Saturday, one of the ladies sat with me and she was telling me, she said, do you know why I love you so much. He said, I don't know. He said, the day I heard your voice, he said, you were singing, I melted. He said, that was the day I fell in love with you. I just laughed. And she's been there, in and out. So God will give you something <laughs> that will make men to love you. And when they love you, they will be thinking of how to bless you. And what they will bless you with, they will build houses for you. Your generation to generation shall no more suffer. I am talking to somebody, I don't know whom you are. I speak to you, I speak to the foundation of poverty. To be lifted out of your life. I speak to the foundation of lack and want and suffering. To get out of your life, get out of your life. Get out of your life. 
Get out of your life. Get out of your family. Get out of your destiny. And I pronounce you are the owner of houses. 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 Receive it in Jesus' name. Because some of you will be looking at me and say, ah, where will I get the money? Don't worry. Just, just believe what we are saying. And we will not let it go until we see you with houses. You didn't say amen. We've been praying about it, believing God for it. That as many that are in this church today, you must have your own house. I don't care how the money will come. But I know that I know that I know that God will send help us to you. God will raise help us to you. God will raise help us for you. God will raise help us for you. God will raise help us for you. God will raise up us for you. God will raise up us for you. Receive them in the name of Jesus Christ. So, hear me. The man called our sister and said, I have just finished this house. But the Lord has been troubling me since I saw you. That I should hand over the key. This is somebody who was nobody. Somebody couldn't even eat. Our sister said, she thought it was a joke. And she, she asked the man, I, I hope you are not making mistake or Identity. You know me. See, I know you. You know me. See, I know you. Now, he took the sister. The house was duplex. Duplex. He took our sister to the place. And the sister was looking. The sister said, uh -huh. He said, this is the key. This is the house. The sister, wow. She just... Like one of our sisters that went for visa. When they gave her visa, she started pooing pooing. She started going to the toilet. Fru, 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 fru. Because in her life, with everything she has suffered in life, she never believed that God can turn it around. God will turn you around. God will turn your situation around. God will turn it and 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 turn it. Please keep on saying amen. God will turn it and 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 turn it until we give it to you. Somebody shout hallelujah. Some of you will notice that, that was, there was a sister they brought to the altar last Tuesday. They were, they were holding her. Nothing was wrong. Because they gave her visa, two years, American visa, from nowhere. The husband is dead. Everything went wrong. Eh? The, herself and the first daughter. So, two, two years, she, she looked around. And say, can, can it be true? Me, America. You'll be the next. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be the next to receive surprises. God will embarrass you with surprises. God will embarrass you with surprises. God will embarrass you with surprises. God will take you higher and higher and higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. Somebody shout hallelujah. So just get ready because something is about to happen. I don't know whom you are, but something is about to happen. The God of glory will embarrass your enemies. 
I'm talking to you. God will embarrass what? Your enemies. He will use their skirt to cover their faces. He will lay hold of their skirt, cover their faces, so that they will not see you again. They will not stop you again. They will not engage you again. Because when you build those houses, you will call them for dedication. How many of you know you will dedicate? We will. We shall dedicate. You are not saying amen. I, I want you to come out from where you have found yourself. Some of you, you are looking at yourself. On Sunday, that woman when daddy was talking about Jesus told her he said you're a dog say yes sir I'm a dog he said you don't have right to eat children's food that I will give to the children first he said Oga you, you talk you talk well I, I agree bet bet I will go under I will go under the table because I am not a big dog that cannot go under the table. I'm a small dog that can go under the table. That whatever the children in the house are eating, I will lie down low and I will eat. That is to show humility. Because God is about to bless most of you. When the blessing comes, humble yourself. Am I talking to somebody? God is about to bless somebody in this program. But when the blessing comes, lower yourself. Don't lift your shoulders and say me. When you are talking, you talk like as if you're God. No. Lower yourself. Because that house is coming. You didn't say man. Yeah. How many of you believe that God will build a house for you? Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 That was how the woman got the house. And when she came back, she started talking big. Ah, I said, oh God, Madam, your career, your courage don't change. The way she was walking, I said, ah, is it not this woman I used to know? And the way she was talking, I said, eh? She laughed. She now grabbed me. She said, Mommy, it don't happen. I said, What didn't happen? He said, Don't shell her. Your own go shell her. I come against hindrances in your life in the name that is above every other name. I bind that demon in your life. I chase them out of your life. You will succeed. Your blessings will not pass you by. Your miracles will not pass you by. The people that will help you will not pass you by. They will locate you. 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 If you are that person, jump up and shout, they will locate me. So she told me, she said, Mom, key. I said, eh, where did you see key? He said, it's my house. I said, your house. He said, yes. Sir. He said, so you didn't believe what you were saying to us. He said, somebody gave me a house. Duplex. He said, my, my status don't change. He said, I'm no more a tenant. I'm now a landlord. God will make you a landlord. God will make you a landlady. If you are that person, shout a louder amen. Another. The highest. A girl, a small girl. A small girl. 
used to see one particular woman. She, this woman passes through their door. And one of the days, the girl just walked up to the woman and she told the woman, he said, every day I see you trek. You pass here. Don't you have a house? And the woman said, no, I don't have anything. He said, come, I like you. Come, I will take you to my mother. My mother will give you a house. And the, girl, the woman said, give me a house. She said, don't worry, let's just go. So she took this woman, a small boy, a girl, took the woman to the mother and said, mom, this is my friend. And the mother said, this woman is your friend. He said, she's my friend. Though. He said, I found her to be my friend. He said, mommy, please give her food. I want her to eat on the table where we are eating. And look at this woman, Rachel. And the mother said, where did you pick this woman from? He said, mom, she's my friend. You might not like her, but I like her. Somebody will like you. I'm talking to somebody. I'm talking to somebody. Jump up and shout, somebody will like me. Say it again. Say it better. Say it again. Say it again. Keep on saying it. Say somebody will like me. Somebody will like me. Somebody will like me and they will do me well. Somebody will like me and they will do me well. If you believe that, shout it louder. Amen. Amen. Believe me, you. That was how that girl took the woman. Say, come and stay with us. Say, you, say you don't have anywhere. They gave her boy's quarter at the back. She would eat what they eat. Somebody couldn't even bath well. She now bath well. They take care of her. From nowhere. Do you know that there's nothing favor cannot do? Go and sit down. There is nothing favor cannot do. So if you are here, you have not been praying for favor in your life. Start praying for favor. It was favor and grace that made King Hazarus to marry a slave girl. An orphan. If you pray for favor and grace, God will open an unusual door for you. Somebody, you are not saying amen. You are not saying amen. You are not saying amen. She stayed with them and she didn't know that the woman was building a house for her. Because the woman is, was in money. After building the house, one day just called the woman. He said, you have stayed with us for long. I want you to leave our house. Her heart caught. Because she doesn't have anywhere to go. He said, enter my motor. She took this woman to a completed house. Furnished house. Say, this is your key. The, the woman was crying. You know, there are things that make you to cry. You might like it or you start crying. A lot of you, you will cry this season. Because Jehovah God will embarrass you. My father will do the unusual. My father will connect you to somebody that knows somebody, that knows somebody, that knows somebody. That knows somebody 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 that knows somebody. If you are that person, shout a louder, amen. Beautiful house. And she said, Well, the days of trekking are over. She said, I got you a small car. So that anywhere you want to go, you can go. Because my daughter might like to follow you. I don't want my daughter to trek. God will connect you to somebody that will bring blessing to you. I speak to somebody here. God 
God will connect you to somebody that will bring blessing to you. Hear me. She was given a car. And that was her, her story chain. I don't know who is the next person. I told you that the, these midwives, they didn't have money. Abby, do you think that midwives can have money to build? No. no. But God raised men and women to build what? Those houses for them. Because they refuse to kill their destiny. Don't kill your destiny. Don't gamble with your destiny. Don't sell your birthright. Don't give it up carelessly. Don't anything the Lord gives to you, value it. Am I communicating? Anything God gives you to do, value it. Don't joke with it. Don't play with it. Respect whatever God has given to you. It might be small, it might be big. Respect it. When you respect that thing, that thing will respect you. Am I communicating? So those people build the houses. And the Bible says, God did what? Build the houses. Who is the nurse? Are you sure? If you are the one, shout, I'll be the nurse. Say it again. I will be the Say it loud. I will be the Say, Lord, help me. Lord, help me. I, receive I receive houses. I will not lack houses. Not the days of tenancy is over. I will be a landlord. Say it with all your heart. Whatever you want to be, say it now. Say it loud. You are not saying it. If you believe, shout in Jesus' name. I am a landlord. And no power can stop me. If you believe that, shout a louder, amen. Another the highest. Amen. One of the men of God in this country was preaching. And he said, who believes that God will give him a house? Everybody kept quiet. You know, the person who answered, who shouted, praise the Lord. Who shouted, hallelujah. It was, what do you call it, servant. Servant in the office. Every other big man or big woman, they close their mouth because they think it's not possible. Do you know after shouting, the ogre that he works for, tell him, say, I'm relocating to another place and I'm, I want to give you this house. He say, house. Say, yes. He say, ogre, you don't know me, say, I'll be your servant in the office. He said, I know. Because every word spoken over your life shall not return void. I don't know how it's going to work, but as long as we are speaking it in this name, Jesus Christ, it will come to pass. 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 He left the house for that boy. And equipped the house with what the man has. And he came back to give testimony. They were looking at him. Somebody here is destined for testimony. I don't know who the person is. But I stand today in the name of Jesus Christ to announce to you that somebody is destined for testimony. Receive your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Receive your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are that person, shout hallelujah. Say nothing will kill my testimony. Say even if I don't have money. I know that God will raise men. And they will build a house for me. If you believe that, shout a louder amen. amen. Deuteronomy 6, 11. Deuteronomy 6, 11. Did you see what he's saying? Your houses shall be full of good things. Did you hear me? We're not talking only about house. Because you can have house or houses and nothing good is there. Your houses shall be full with good things. Money. Favor. Open doors. Good people. Receive it in Jesus' name. You will not build those houses and it will be empty. No. Look at your neighbor. Say any house you build shall not be empty. If you believe that, shout a louder. Amen. Isaiah 64, 22. 65, rather. Sorry. They shall not build what? They shall not build an another what? They shall not plant an another for us. Huh? Go ahead now. You will not plant for someone else. When you build, you will eat the labor of your hands. You will not build for someone else to inhabit. I'm telling you. Is anybody saying amen? A young man was building. And one woman carelessly came in and said, it's not to build that matters. It's to live inside. He, she just said it carelessly and left. Do you know when that house was about to complete, the man became sick. No do, no do. They rush him to London. From London, he died. They bring him body. It was the body that buried, um, the body they buried in the house. Please, I am on my bended knees. Please stand up. Lift up your hands. I'm waiting. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I will build the houses and I will live inside it. I will build my houses and I will live inside it. I will not build for someone else. I will build and I will enjoy it. I will build I will enjoy it. Say it. Say I will build and I will enjoy it. They will not kill me. They will not terminate me. No death will take me away. Because I have labored. I will eat the fruit of my labor. So you foul spirit. You works of devil. You are a liar. You cannot kill me. You cannot destroy my destiny. You cannot destroy my house. You cannot destroy my life. When I build, I will wait. I will enjoy my building. No power will stop me. No devil will kill me. You, my houses, I will live in you. Amen. I want you to stand and address the houses. I'm not saying house. I say houses. But if you want to limit yourself to house, it's your problem. Are you there? Say, Father, I speak to my houses. 
that when I finish building you, I will enjoy you. I will live inside with my children, with my family. I will not labor for another family to take it away. It's a lie. It shall not happen. I come in the name of Jesus Christ and I address all the issues that are risen to fight me, to bring me down, to say I will not enjoy the labor of my hands. It's a lie. Whether from the village, say it from the village, from the village, from the village, oh, from my father's family, from my mother's family, from my uncle's family, from my niece's family, from my brother's family, from my sister's family, wherever they have been assigned to make sure I don't enjoy the labor of my hands. It's a lie. I send it back. I send it back. I send it back. Back to the sender. 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 By fire. By fire. By thunder. I send it back. You arrows of destruction. You arrows of wickedness. You arrows from the pit of hell. I send you back to your sender. I send you back. Open your mouth and send them back. You cannot labor in vain. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Look at me. There are things I have seen in my life. That made me to believe God. Even when there is no help. God will raise a man. I have seen it. It's real. When we started the ministry newly, we didn't, we didn't have any money. Hear me. No money. And then I went out. I was heavy, pregnant. And I didn't have money to enter moto. So, I was standing. When I say standing, standing. One taxi man just parked by my side. He said, hey, madam. I said, good afternoon. He said, enter. I said, do you know where I'm going? He said, anywhere you're going, I'll take you. I said, I don't have money. He said, I know you don't have money. That's why I asked you to enter. I was afraid. He said, don't be afraid. Enter. He carried me to the front of our house. He packed his motor. He came and opened for me and said, Madam, come down. And he said, bye-bye. There is nothing God cannot do. Please believe me. That man did not take any cobble. If I see the man now, I don't know him. So please, I am on my bended knees. Please. I beg you. I beg you. God will surprise a lot of you this year. We are going to end this year well. I speak in the name of Jesus Christ. You will end this year well. You will end this year well. You will end 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 well. I don't know what brought you here. If it is sickness, God will heal you. If you want a child, God will give you a child. If your business is not doing well, God will heal the business and set you back 
and put you back. God will introduce you to a new business. Whatever that brought you here, you must have your testimony. God will do a new thing in your life. God will do a new thing in your life. God will do a new thing in your life. I'm not hearing your amen. 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 Our God is the God of impossibility. Is there anything too hard for God to do? No. Huh? Why are you looking at me like that? You are looking at me, say, you don't even know, I don't have anything. Shut up. God is not using what you have. He will provide for himself. And he will use it to build for you. I'm not hearing your amen. I'm not hearing your amen. No. So take your eyes off your money. Take your eyes off what you have. Because the ancient of days, that I am that I am, the lion of the tribe of Judah, he will provide a job for you. He will provide a connection for you. He will pour oil of greatness over your life. He will pour oil of favor over your life. He will pour oil of acceptance over your life. That men will accept you. Women will accept you. Boys will accept you. Girls will accept you. That anywhere you go, you become the point of miracle. I'm talking to somebody. Anywhere you go, you will become a point of miracle. Is there anybody who will become a point of miracle? Shout, I am a point of miracle. I'm not hearing your voice. Say it better. Say it loud. Say it with all your heart. Say, anywhere I go, I will be accepted. You're not saying it. Say it loud. Say it better. If you believe we accept the shout amen. Another. The highest. I want you to please help me talk to somebody, as many people as you can. Tell them anywhere you go, you'll be accepted. Oh yeah. Let them hear the sound of your voice. Anywhere you go. That is very, very important. If you are not accepted, no. If you are not accepted, no. Anywhere you go, you'll be accepted. Do you believe that? Shout with all your heart. Say, anywhere I go, in this nation, outside this nation, I will be accepted. Say, you spirit of hatred. Get out of my life. Get out of my life. Men will favor me. God will favor me. Anywhere I go, favor will speak over my life. If you believe it, shout amen. Say anywhere I go, favor will speak over my life. Grace will speak over my life. I will be preferred better than others. I will be the choice of the people. Say it over and over and over and over. I will be the choice of the people in the name of Jesus Christ. I will be the choice of the people. Go ahead and say it. Say it. It's very important. When they go to a meeting where you are not they will say we prefer that woman we prefer that man give us that man
Give us that woman. Pray. They will prefer you better. Esther was preferred better than any other person. Please say it. Somebody must be raised to build this house. In Jesus' name, we pray. Look at Deuteronomy 8.10. And when thou hast eaten. Huh? Have you seen it? How many of you are about to eat? This season you will eat what you want. There is difference between what I see and what I want. You will not just eat what you see. You are not saying amen. Whatever you desire this December that is coming, God will give it to you. Because your status has changed. You are no more a tenant. Landlords don't eat anyhow. Am I communicating? You don't see any landlord when he wants to eat, you carry pan and go and say, um, are, are you selling rice? No. How, how many landlords do you see? Except some landlord, the shout that. I try to make one half. Some people are like that. Eh? Uh, some people, instead, when they are landlord, they'll be riding bicycle. Eh? Am I communicating? They are landlords, but they ride bicycle. You know why? They are afraid so that somebody will not kill them. Somebody will not know they have money, but minus us. We are royal children. Fear not the fear, fear. Am I communicating? I beg you, tell me, fear not the fear, fear. Say with all boldness. Say, lion, not the eat lion. Say with all boldness. Have you ever seen where they use lion for sacrifice? No. You are a lion. You are a lioness. So you don't need to be afraid. Look at your neighbor and say, don't fear. Because they cannot harm you. Say it loud now. Look at me. He said, when thou hast eaten and a fool, then thou shalt bless what? The Lord. Did you see it? Whom shall you bless? And some of you will lay the foundation before that time. So just get ready. I speak to you in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall roll in. You will buy lands. You will build houses. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to please look at somebody that I'm saying. I will call you at the day of my dedication. Go tell people that you'll be there to dedicate with me. Tell them. Tell somebody, don't close your mouth or confess it. Don't say, I don't understand what they are saying. Where will I have the money? Amen. He said, bless the Lord thy God for the good Land which he has done what given to who to who to me to thee when you say to thee that means to you he has given you a land vast land to build how many of you receive what I'm saying God will surprise somebody The vast land God will give to you, you, you'll be looking at it. Ah, how did I manage? How did I get here? I tell you, when God does that for you, when you wake up, you will look around. 
You say, God, is this you? Yeah. Eh? You will call your name. Say, eh? What are you doing here? Eh? Eh? What are you doing here? You call your name. Say, ah, 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 ah. What are you doing here? How did you manage to get in there? How did you manage to reach here? How did you manage to build house? You will call your name again. Say, eh? 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 What in the shelter? Do something to celebrate the Lord. Do something to celebrate the Lord. Do something to celebrate the Lord. If you like, sit down there. Do something to show you are grateful. That anointing from above. I need anointing from above. Anointing from above. I need anointing from above. I believe. I believe that's anointing from above. I believe, I believe that's anointing from above. Only the pastors, anointing the, from uh, above. Partners, I need anointing from above. Anointing from above. I need anointing from above. I believe, I believe. From above, I believe, I believe there's an anointing from above. Anointing from above, I need anointing from above. 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 I need anointing. From above, I need anointing from above. 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 From above, I need anointing from above. I need anointing from above. I believe, I believe there's anointing from above. I believe, I believe there's anointing from above. I believe, I believe, I believe there's anointing from above. From above, there is healing from above. 
above. I know there's healing from above. There is healing from above. There is healing. There is healing. There is healing from above. I said there is healing. There is healing. There is healing from above. I said there is healing from above. There is healing from above. Deliverance from above. There is deliverance from above. There is deliverance from above. There is deliverance from above. I know there is deliverance from Jehovah Shama. There is deliverance from above. There is deliverance from above. There is deliverance from above. I know there is deliverance. Deliverance from above. There is deliverance from above. There is fire from above. There is fire from above. I said there is fire from above. There is fire from above. Somebody call the fire. Call the fire. There is fire from above. I said there is fire. From above, I said, There is fire coming from above. There is fire from above. I said, There is fire from above. There is fire from above. There is fire. There is fire. There is fire from above. From above. There is fire from above. Anointing break over you. 
Anointing break on my sickness. Anointing break on poverty. Anointing break on my youth. 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 Come on, break on my youth. Come on, break on my youth. Hallelujah. Come on, break on my youth.
Pentecostal Mission International with God's anointed servants, Rev. Dr. O. Isakel, the General Overseer, Rev. Dr. Mercy Isakel, co pastor National and International Coordinator, and other anointed servants of God. Worship with us this Sunday at 8.30 a.m. at Christian Pentecostal Mission International Headquarters, 10 and 12 Latif Salami Street, Ajawa Estate, along Mutala Mohammed Airport Road, Lagos. You can also worship with any CPM International branch close to you. It will be a time of salvation, healing, deliverance in the presence of God. CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord. 